everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and i still remain your shoe making made easy to talk oh durole mojibola today i'm going to be showing us how i created this cross sander i'm sure you are wondering okay what did i do to this and how was i able to achieve it crossing over themselves perfectly well even with a curve right here so today i'm going to be showing us how to simply do this and how to also work on this curve part without a shoe last if you're watching my channel for the first time all i do is make shoe making easy for you by teaching you how you can actually create your design with or without a shoe last now don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to also press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified guess what uh, what i'm going to be starting a weekend training it's going to be starting on fridays and on saturdays it's going to be starting in the month of november the first weekend all through the month of november and we're going to be doing it monthly so if you're interested go ahead and register let me know in the comment section so that i can send you the link and you will go ahead and register the class is free but everyone has to be committed yes so it comes with a commitment fee the class is free trust me when i tell you my class is free it's not something you get freely like that everywhere so i need you to sit back and i'm gonna be right so our design is going to be starting with a triangle so i'm going to be creating a triangle now so what you need basically your triangle i'm sure we know what a triangle is so i'm going to be creating a triangle with this side from this side to this side is going to be one centimeter why this height to this particular point is going to be 1.5 centimeters so follow me as i do that You can see that I've already created a triangle. My base is 1.5, is 1 centimeter. That's width. Why this height is 1.5 centimeter. Now, all I did was locate the middle of this particular 1 centimeter, which is um, um, 0 0.5. So I just drew it down. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try as much as possible to make this place look more like a cone. So try to make it like a cone. You can see what I have. It now looks like a cone so please go ahead and just trim out now you can see what i have so let's go ahead and see what we are going to be using this for now that we have cut out our cone what you need to do is place down this way just play of course make sure there's enough space all around then then try to outline it out you can decide to actually create your own and not cut it out if you so desire but make sure there are spaces all around for you to be able to do what i'm going to be showing us now so you can see i've already drawn that the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be expanding it all around by 1.5 centimeter so according to my ruler your measurement starts from here and stop around here so let's go ahead and do that so now that we have actually extended it extended it all around ensure that this side is actually you know cough like let it not have an angle you know i joined it straight way so you should ensure that you cough it in with it make sure it rhymes perfectly with it so now that we have this you are going to actually cut out a strap like this that has a width of 1.5 centimeter as well don't forget we extended all around by 1.5 centimeter so cut a straight strap like this 
it does the, the length is not actually an issue though but let me just show you what i have here i have 16 i will not be using as long as this but this is what i have right here so all you need to do is go ahead and place your strap this way let it come alongside this slant you can make sure it's along it place it on top of it you understand along this particular slant here that part of our cone it has become a cone it's no more a triangle so you see what i have just go ahead and um, try to do this come out and do the same thing i'm sure you can see what i am doing so from this you find out that this one has already matched up with this what i'm now going to do is i'm going to trim it out now if you look at what i have here you find out that this is already out this is actually a, a beautiful unique um, children's sander pattern i need you to know that this is not limited to children you can actually use it as, as an adult as well all you need to do is ju just to make sure that this is wider than this now i use 1.5 and i use them um, um 1.5 and 1 centimeter for this particular henna cone so all you need to do is you can make it a bit longer for for hard up. probably you use two your you use 2.5 centimeter as the as the height here then you can make this let's say 1.5 centimeter make use of 2 and 1.5 or use 2 and 2.5 just make sure the range has about 0 0.5 difference between them just as long as you can actually run around and try over that you know which one should perfectly fit for an adult this is actually a simply simple design that you can work with so what am i doing next i'm going to be trimming all of this out so watch me as i do that So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be attaching this, the, two, the, the other strap that I used initially for this side, I'm going to be attaching it on this. So that's how you'll be get, that's how you get the design that you need. Now, if you don't want to actually place it, because if you place it together, you will still not be able to use it. The reason is because you can't cut a pattern that is outrightly like this. I don't know how you want to cut it and you will successfully cut it so it's going to be a bit difficult so what is going to happen is we are going to be divide, dividing it right here so at this point i'm going to try to fold this this way you understand the fold right now so i'm going to divide this fold it like that you don't need to have that extra strap i'm just using it to show you what it looks like so this is what i'm going to have so all you need to do is just to duplicate this which is what i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to duplicate it and show us what it looks like so let's quickly draw that now you can see what i have after duplicating it so this is what happens when you now want to cut out your design you cut this two of this you cut also two of this so by the time you cut it it means you are going to cut one like this the other one like this that's one you cut one like this and one like this that is two so when i mean cut two i don't mean you should place it the same way i don't want to talk, i don't just want to get us confused so cut this way and cut this way cut this way and cut this way so that will be suitable for the two legs you can see what i have so you come to this side and put them together like this so what i'm going to suggest is you line this differently by the time you cut this upper you cut this you are going to actually line them separately like this if you want to stitch them stitch them separately then you bring it together this way and then use a, um, a leather at the back to hold it together right here you stitch it down you stitch it down then you trim it off don't forget it has a beautiful you can put a bow here you can put any kind of accessory at this particular point now you already know that we are going to be having weekend class so many times you come to my dm asking oh i would like to go for your beginner's class oh i'm not sure i i am ready for that now i am i, I cannot afford it for now i have created this weekend class just to make sure that you know when we work on things like this we can finish it up in the weekend class yes that is one of the basic reasons and at the same time for as many people who have actually been looking out on how to actually make sure they partake of my full classes that's what the weekend class is all about it's going to be on on fridays and on saturdays 
And then um, I'm going to be making sure that each time we pick a design, we are going to go from pattern cutting, we are going to go to upper creation, we are going to move to out to last, out to bottom. That's basically what we're going to be. I'll be doing a full course for every design. And you have the opportunity of picking whatever design you want actually in that class. So I will suggest or I will encourage you. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested. Then I'll go ahead and give you the registration link. It's important you have to register. Now, the training is free. Like I said, it is free. But everybody have to pay a commitment fee. On it's going to be on a monthly basis. You want to partake this month, you may decide not to partake the next month. So it's going to be a monthly thing. If you are going to partake in it this month, you are going to be paying a commitment fee of three dollars. It's going to be three dollars. So please let me know in the comment section if you are Nigeria. I will guide you on how to make your payment. If you are not in Nigeria, I will guide you on how to pay make your payment as well. So it's a weekend, like I said, it's going to be on Fridays and on Saturday. Trust me, when I have classes like that, it's something that will run every month we are going to be running it every month just to keep up with all of this and to keep up with your questions so we can follow up ourselves on that particular platform so don't forget i said the class is free but everyone has to be committed to it so you're going to be having a commitment fee of three dollars on a monthly basis so let me know in the comment section if you have actually enjoyed this because for me you can make this for an adult you can make this for children also we have the side there is a side to this particular design it's coming on top it's opening up this way Hola! 